I've never seen this level of, you know, anarchy just because of election. Someone said this afternoon that, yeah, why won't politicians fight to death? The amount of money available for them to share is just too humongous. So it's a matter of life and death for them to control our commonwealth. Very, very disheartening. Very, 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 very disheartening. So where do we go from here? And they do it with so much impunity. I read somewhere a few days ago, there are going to be 40,000 policemen in one of the states, and that very state today virtually collapsed into the hands of hoodlums. Now lives have been lost, you know. Ah, if they gun him down, what do you want to happen? You say my friend refused to go home. It depends on the security report he got. So, Nigeria. <laughs> okay. Oh. <sighs> what can we say? Any hope for Nigeria? I don't know. When I was younger, I used to hear about a wasted generation. I'm not sure if mine too has not been wasted already. Because a country that cannot organize just simple elections. <laughs> the giant of Africa. So what do we do? And the people are so helpless. You can't run anywhere. You can't go to uh, INEC. You can't go to the courts, the, the judiciary. You can't and some people still think it's a joke. You see people on social media joking, laughing, as if it's a thing of pride for us that our country is collapsing before our very eyes and we're not bothered. So uh, I guess we see all of us well. Like they say, heavens we fall, we fall on everybody. The INEC is not the only problem of this country. The INEC is a major problem, but it's not the only problem of this country. INEC is empowered and emboldened by those mm -hmm. who set up INEC. The same people in charge of INEC, they are the ones compromising it. Because how do people get access to the forms? And they are able to fill the forms even before the election starts. How do they get access to it? These are supposed to be security sensitive materials, you know. So yeah, we said generation. Oh yeah, this set of politicians believe they are untouchable. They can use the police, the army and all manner of security agencies to terrorize and harass their fellow citizens and they will get away with it because they are in power. And we're all powerless, we're all hopeless. It's, uh, it shows that they are not good students of history. Yeah, I see a lot of our young guys nowadays. In our days, we used to worry a lot about our country. These days, everybody worries about himself. Ah, let me sort myself out to get an appointment. To, ah, uh, we've been lamenting forever. Uh, me, I'm not ready to join the lamentation of Jeremiah. Uh, me, I'm, you know, all sorts, uh, all sorts, all sorts. You know, I just begin to wonder what manner of country are we going to bequeath to our children? <sighs> Nothing moves anybody again. Today, we just read they shot people who were trying to hijack ballot boxes and all that. And it's not, it's not a big deal to us any longer. Of course, we, we knew Kogi was going to be a flashpoint when you have a man at the helm of affairs who doesn't, who doesn't just feel, yeah, the state belongs to me. And, and it's the same template. It's not just Kogi, it's the same template everywhere. Hijack the election and run with it. That's the new philosophy in Nigeria. Hello, Philene Mutoni, how are you? Ice Kigali. You know, so that's the template. Just hijack. 
the election and run with it. Nothing will happen because you can't run to the court, you can't run to anywhere, you know. So that's a new template. My humble and modest contributions to nation building at very huge costs and risks. And some people will laugh at you, some people, you know, so. But I'm not bothered about that. I'm just bothered my co about my country. And uh, whatever happens. Uh -huh. Hopefully. The world is watching us, even if we don't care. They are watching us. And everybody will suffer for it. Everybody will pay for it, ultimately. You know? Everybody will ultimately pay for it. So they think it's a joke. We've seen it all before. How can just a few people hijack a country and say there is nothing you can do? We will continue to win all elections by hook, by crook by whatever means necessary and everybody is helpless someone is asking me on twitter how can you blame INEC for parties misdemeanor <laughs> who, who supplied the forms that they were filling did the parties print their own forms or they bought it from some INEC officials Someone is saying all this full episode because of your party, Dino. Sir, you should know Dino is on serious. Can I, can I? Oh, so, but Yayabelu's candidate is very serious, eh? Uh, you, you get the leader you deserve. You will get the leader you uh, Like I said, mm -hmm. all these ones I'm doing has become an academic exercise. That's the truth. I'm not too bothered any longer. I... I played my part. When tomorrow comes, nobody is going to say, oh, the labor model did not play his part. I've, I've played my part honorably, you know, visibly for all to see. And uh, I'm not doing it to impress anybody. I'm doing it because I wish that our future, you know, before we all depart this world, will be much better. But if it is not better, so be it. We'll live in it like that. People say it as if I have something to gain. You know, if things are bad or things are good, things must be good. That should be the dream of every sensible, responsible citizen of a country. Things must be good. If Nigeria is good, it is for all of us. It is not for Dele Momodu. It is for all of us. So, I always say it. Very humbly, I, I always say it. I can live anywhere in the world if I choose to today. But I choose to live in my country, and so I must pray for my God. Even if I can afford to live on planet Mars, what of the, uh, the rest of my family? Am I going to carry everybody with me? So that's just it. That's just it. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, only God and rescue Nigeria at this stage. I'm looking younger, are you sure? At almost 64. Hmm. And with all the pressure and stress in our country, Nigeria, it's very frustrating. Very, very. Do we still need to vote in this country? I won't lie to you. It's getting to that stage where I think it's a total waste of time. So, I won't lie to you, I'm not sure it's worth it any longer. The situation where you go to vote and some people will come snatch at this time and age and with all the thousands and thousands of police officers and other security agencies on patrol. It's unbelievable. 